Ralph Boston. Ralph Boston. Ralph Boston. Ralph Boston, the Lowell resident, leaped his way into history when he broke an Olympic record in 1960. Probably the scariest day of my life, uh, 1960 alone, September 12, I believe. I'd never seen that many people before in my life. The stadium had something like 85,000. Scared, Boston took off down the runway and took off into the history books. When I landed, I thought it was a terrible jump. I walked out of the pit as I as I normally do, but I thought it was a terrible jump. And when I saw the distance, um, I was I was very happy with that. And Hi, I am Taylor Conti, and I want to be interviewing Ralph Boston. Okay. <laughs> Where was I born? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Taylor Cotty, and I'm going to be interviewing Ralph Boston. He is an athlete who who broke the world record of a 27 barrel jump. Okay, you ready? I am ready. Where were you born? I was born in a very, very small town in Mississippi <laughs> called Laurel. <laughs> okay. Um, when I was when I was born, I think the population was maybe maybe six thousand, seven thousand people, no more. That's a lot of popularity. Mm. Go ahead. Okay, what were your parents' names? My mother, my parents rather were named my my father Peter was Peter uh, L. Boston was born. February 5th, 1883. So we just celebrated his 137th birthday. He's no longer with us, but uh, he was born in Mississippi. And my mother was born uh, this uh, November 26, 1896 in Daleville, Mississippi. How was your life when you were growing up? Uh, since I was the tenth of ten children, uh, it was kind of different. There were nine before me. Uh, when I was born, I believe four of them, two older brothers and the next two sisters, were away in college. But uh, it was a little bit crowded, I guess. But uh, it was it was it was different. It was they were they were very loving. They were very caring, and they took very good care of you. And they made you run all the little little errors, run to the store and go to the chicken yard and gather the eggs and things like that. Okay. Um. How did it feel to break a record of a twenty-seven barrel jump? Uh, you know, I I don't believe that I ever really set out to do that. I just. I wanted to be a term that I hear used often now, the best that I could be, and I'd like to be better than everybody else. So once I found out I had done that, that was, whoa, that was, that was very nice, very good, wonderful. Uh, first, I, uh, I, was, I was glad to do that, and it meant that at that point I was, I was the best in the world. Whose record did you break, and wh where did you break it at? Okay, uh, I broke the record of a gentleman who is well known throughout the world, has been well known throughout the world since the early 1930s, Jesse Owens, uh, James Cleveland Jesse Owens, who was born in Oakville, Alabama, but the family moved to Cleveland when he was very small. And I broke it at a, at a, at a facility in just outside Los Angeles in a town called Walnut, California. Uh, it's a great day in my life, too. That was, oh, yeah. I beat Jesse Frackett. Wow. How did you do in the Olympics? I got lucky. I won. Ha ha. Take that. <laughs> yeah, I won. I, I have an Olympic gold medal. And, yeah, I have an Olympic gold medal, yes. What inspired you to do track? Well, 
a, a number of things. One, uh, I hated, well, not even hate, but I did not like farming. And, and my father, when I came along, uh, had had some injuries, and so he had taken to farming, growing our food supplies. And so in the spring, he was planting. He was planting so we could have food over the summer and the fall and winter. And I really didn't like plowing a mule or, or, or planting corn and so on. So uh, that's one reason I, I, I started to run. So that if, uh, if I did that, it meant that I would have to stay at school. And by the time I got home, it was too dark to, to do the work. Uh, so, you know, there was an ulterior motive. But more than that, my high school track coach who thought that I had some abilities, called my mother and asked if I could run. And so she told him yes. And so that's, that's how I got started. Somebody else saw it. I didn't, I didn't see what they saw, but I was like most little boys in the, the ninth grade. I was looking at the little girls. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> if you could describe yourself with what character trait would you use and why? Uh, I'm a country boy. I'm, a, I'm country. I, uh, uh, I love to cook. I love to cook. Oh, I do love to cook. Uh, I love the out of doors. My favorite time of the day, I think, is morning. Uh, I love to see the sunrise. Oh, 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 oh. I think that's beautiful. Uh, I, I, I try my best to enjoy my life and not to, not to anger and, and belittle other people. I try more than anything to just enjoy my life. Mm. When you were younger, did you run track? I ran track only because it, it kept me from having to go home to work. Uh, I actually wanted to be a football player but I was very skinny and my mom did not like football. And back then, what moms wanted, they usually got. And so I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, uh, you know, she wanted me to run, so I ran. Okay, what college did you attend? Okay, there is a school in Nashville called Tennessee State University. And by the time I was prepared to go to college. They had a very outstanding track and field program for women. It was very well known for women. Uh, there was only one, one guy that I knew of that had done well at Tennessee State. And uh, when my coach saw his name and read about him, he rather pushed me to go to Tennessee State. I went to Tennessee State in Nashville, Tennessee, yes. Do you still run track? No, ma'am. My old 80-year-old body doesn't like to run. Uh, I don't like to run. When I go to play golf, I usually get on the golf cart and ride. I don't, I don't, I don't walk anymore. When was your birthday? My birthday is, is May 9. I will be 81 years old in the spring. Wow. Same birthday as my grandma. Oh, oh, she's a lucky lady. She was born on a good day. <laughs> and their first cousin. All right then. Yes, yes. Yeah, I lucked out. I got very lucky. Yeah. So what do you do? Thank and you. And that's it for interview. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome.